In today's video, we are going to be going over Aquion's Master Water Test Kit. It has pretty much everything you need to make sure your aquarium water is safe for your fish. So as you can see, there is a variety of different things you can test, and it also comes with a like instructions manual on how to do it, as well as the like test tubes that you need to do the aquarium water tests in. So out of all of these, the first thing we're gonna test for is our water's pH in the aquarium. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab one of the API test tubes, and there is a five milliliter marking on it, and you're gonna to wanna to fill it up to that five milliliter marking with your aquarium water. The next and most important step is going to be to mix your water with the pH test solution. So you gotta press down on the bottle to open it. Three drops, so hold it all the way down. One, two, Three, okay, uh, close your lid, and then just a couple times you can go like this just so the solution evenly mixes. And then I will cut to the results. Okay, so it did end up being about 7.6, here, there we go, did end up being about 7.6, I want to bit more of a like exact so I'm going to grab the let me all right I have five milliliters of that push open open it up okay straight down one two three okay close it now one two one two two one two one two one two one two just make just do this a couple times make sure you get the mix all right now if we take a look at our pH scale, 4. 7.4, 7.8, okay. Yeah, looks like. The next thing we're gonna be testing is my aquarium, it's ammonia. Grab some water. All right, so with the, this one is going to be eight drops. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if we take our chart and we go to ammonia, it looks like we did something wrong. Okay, so it turns out we were doing it correctly, but after putting ammonia 1 in, we need to put in ammonia 2. So grab ammonia 2. We need to put in eight drops of this, and after that, we can shake it vigorously for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And shake it. One, two, three, four, five. And then in five minutes, we should get a result. While we wait for the ammonia to settle for the five minutes, we are going to test the nitrite of our aquarium. So I got five milliliters, and then it is five drops. So one, two, three, four, five. So I got a little extra should be fine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we also have to let that sit for five minutes, and then we will come back to that. All right, so our ammonia and nitrite tests, it has been five minutes for both. So let's take a look at ammonia. So if we put this right next to it. It looks like it is, I'd say, um... It's in between 0.25 ppm and 0 ppm. Uh, it does look pretty yellow, but it's not... I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's green either. I'd say we're at probably at 0 ppm, yeah. And then for our nitrite, 0 ppm of nitrite, just like it's supposed to be. This is what happens when you have a beneficial... Like, you pretty much have a good filter set up in your aquarium. Like, yeah. I can make a more in-depth guide on everything here if this video gets to 10 likes. Okay, 
So I was reading the guide on the testing for this and it was it's a bit confusing. So I'm gonna do this. I don't know if this is gonna be correct. So for this for the nitrate part, I would not take my advice for it because I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is add 10 drops of this into our five milliliters of water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, close this up, give it a little shake. And the next step is to, I'm assuming that we have to put in the nitrate to dissolution and shake that for 30 seconds. Okay. Like I said again, I do not know how to do this part. If anyone is, has done these parts before, let me know. Please correct me. Okay. Nitrate 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, that's 10 drops. Now shake it 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I would say it's it is definitely like yellow that's for sure it's definitely not orange or anything but it's i can't i think it's not like as light of as yellow if i did do the test wrong but it's not as light as yellow so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go do a water change and then we're gonna retest the ammonia nitrate and ph and see what changed And of course, you cannot forget your water conditioner. Also, if you guys want a in-depth guide on why we even do water changes, like what's the purpose? Well, then let's get this video to 20 likes, and I will make an in-depth guide on to why we do that. All right. First, we're gonna do the pH again. Let's get that open. All right. Three drops. One, two, three. Close it up. Give it a shake. After the water change, it is still looking like it is 7.6. Now to get a more accurate, we are going to do a water test with the high range. So five drops, one, two, three, four, five. Close it up. Um, got a good shake. Got the caps back on as well. All right, so. Um, it's looking like it's, let me do the high one. What do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comment section. So I think it's like a 7.4 when we do this one. But yeah, let me know. Next up, we have ammonia again. Open that up. Eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Close that up. Now we get ammonia two. But eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Close it up. And if we look at the ammonia, we have, I would say, what do you think that looks like? You guys let me know. I feel like it's, I feel like it's green, dude. But that could just be the light. Yeah, I think it might be a light green. And then, um, trait, let me get to solution. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close that up. And after I did the nitrate as well, it turned out to be yellow, so we're good. But yeah, so that is pretty much a basic guide, like how you just do it on uh, API's master test kit. If you guys do want a more in-depth video, um, let's get this video to like 10 likes and we'll make that happen. If you guys want, if you guys have any questions or if you have any video suggestions for me, please leave them down below and I will make sure to make it happen. Peace.